here's what Wilde is saying about this. Oh my God, that riot during that basketball game. What are people thinking? Throw them all in jail. We have watched this video again and again. And the, the thing about it is the fury in their faces, the anger. This began on the court with one player fouling another. Okay, you get a foul called on you and the other guy takes two shots. You don't start hitting them. It doesn't turn into a, a fight in the fans. They don't end up ending the game and they don't end up having to arrest 11 or 12 people. Joining us now, Mike Brooks and Ashley Banfield. Yet that is exactly what we have here, Mike. Absolutely. I mean, and there's no beer involved and we're not talking about the Detroit Pistons. You know, this is a high school basketball game in Alabama. I mean, the game was out of, out of reach. It was Valley versus Carver. Carver was leading 52-37. So there's probably a lot of high emotions here, but this was a school activity. You're supposed to behave at these games like mm. you do at school. Now, the question is, was there any outsiders that uh, started the problems in the stands? Mm -hmm. You know, a little pushing and shoving on the, on the court. That happens, but not to turn into an all-out brawl. You wonder about security as well. Ashley Banfield, uh, more and more of these incidents happen, not just in high school games, but apparently all over the world. Soccer matches, football games. Is there, is there, is there a rule out there about security that we've seen that needs to be established? And shouldn't these uh, officials at this game or this high school be held accountable as well? Well, I'll tell you something, I can't really speak for other countries, but in this country, in a number of jurisdictions, there's something called a riot charge. Yes, you can be charged with rioting, as well as all those other charges that are so difficult to defend. Assault, aggravated assault, resisting arrest, mm. obstruction, all those kinds of things. And by the way, um, it's a good thing this was on videotape, nice up-close pictures mm -hmm. of people's faces, which will play very well for jurors, I'm sure. You mean they'll be, police will take this tape, just like we did today, looking oh, at yeah. Yeah. And they will say that guy right there, uh, that was an assault. That one there, he was using self-defense. And they can parse it will be who's guilty and who's not. Huge in the investigation and huge in terms of a piece of evidence if there are charges that are filed in this case against some of the perpetrators. And you're going to have both, in, in this case too, you're going to have both juveniles and juveniles and adults probably. You know, this is a school activity, school rules apply. The principal said they're going to take a look at it also about discipline. But when it comes down to charges, you know, criminal charges, you know, you're going to be dealing with both juveniles and adults. So you just like Ashley said, you could have ag assault, simple assault, there's all kinds of assault with a, a shod foot, that kind of thing. 20 seconds left, so, but you know, the, for in school basketball games, especially of this magnitude, the state playoffs, right. you should have local police. You should have more than well, just a, a couple of guys, right? They're there. You know, they're, we, we saw them there in the crowd. You know, how many do you have? Was, was there any intelligence that said, okay, there was any gang activity that was going to instigate this? No, there was not.